Giving all praise on the glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Bakakwadash, the bonus to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and the sincere. Shalom to the Akin that's out there pushing the sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. A uh, real quick video, man. Um, you know, just you know, kind of just you know, came in my spirit. Uh, the Lord <clears throat> only cares about his elect, man. At the end of the day, you know, I see all this stuff on social media about you know, women talking shit about men. And then it reverses back to the men exposing all the bullshit that these that these that these females out here do, man. You know, you know, which is which is true. You know, but at the end of the day, man, you got you like you have this you have this thing called the blue pill, red pill. To be honest, man, you know, they make excellent points and they're on point. You know, a lot of times, as far as the red pillars, you know, I I, I think red pill is like the the whole manosphere thing. I I don't really keep track of that stuff because the thing is man that's not exactly manosphere <coughs> you know you have a manosphere and that's not manosphere this is manosphere you know that whole manosphere that they, they, what they don't teach you man is that alpha male with alpha males they don't teach you that actual alpha males are going to have problems with these women out here you know they don't teach you that right but the scripture will because alpha males are going to have problems with other with other males too. That's another thing that they don't tell you, man. So again, man, this whole female, this whole male versus female thing, you know, I'll tell you one thing, man. You know, obviously men are going to win that. You know, when it comes to men, men versus female or whatever, obviously men are going to win that. And I don't want to hear no, oh, uh, because it's the it's because of physical, yeah, physical on the physical side, yeah, but mentally, I don't want to hear that. You know, we're physically strong. Obviously, we're mentally strong, too. Right. That that physical and mental have everything to do with each other. You got to think when you do everything. Oh, you got to get in your car and think when you do things. Right. You, you, you know, driving. There's a reason why men are better at driving. That that doesn't really have anything to do with physical strength. Right. It has everything to do with your skill, your thinking, your your thought process. It has everything to do with, do with mental. Then it's the physical. But at the end of the day, man, the Lord only cares about his elect. I put it to you like this. My mindset, you know, let's say a civil war break out. You got male versus female. Guess what? The the men of the Lord, man, we're going to be sitting back and watching this shit. And even a few sisters, man, we all going to be sitting back watching this shit. It's just like, let them tear each other apart. I don't give a goddamn, right? Because the Lord only cares about his elect. That's all he cares about, man. The Lord only cares about his elect. That's it. And that's what I'm reading today, man. All right. This is exactly what I'm reading today. And we all know this, man. But this is just a reminder for us, you know, for me, myself, for us, that the Lord only cares about his elect. Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 14 said what? Pray not for these people. Don't pray not thou for these people, man. Don't pray for these people. You can't do nothing for them. Why would you pray for a, for, for a demon? You're going off if you're doing that, man. You're going off if you're praying for two thirds. We got to question you. What the hell is wrong with you? If you quit praying for, for two thirds, right? Isaiah chapter 65, verse 11. It says, But ye are they that forsake the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that troop, and that furnish the drink offering unto, unto that number. All right. Therefore will I number you to the sword. All right. Therefore will I number you to the sword, man. All right. And the sword. Yeah, you know, just want to break that down, man. It's the ultimate sword is those thermonuclear missiles, man. But the sword could be numerous things. The sword could be those injections that they're they're trying to push out. You know what I mean by that? The sword could be the gun. The sword could be your woman. The sword could be whoever, man. Whatever. There's, there, there, there are numerous things, you know, um, uh, that the sword can be. And you're all going to bow down to that, man. The ones that forsake the Lord, man, y'all all going, we all all going to bow down to that, man. The sword is Esau. That's a sword to us that the Lord created, man. Right? So the ultimate sword, as we know, is is those thermonuclear missiles, man. That the that the that the Lord is getting ready to shoot here, man. Okay. Um, it says, therefore, will I number you to the sword. All right, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Y'all gonna bow down to the. You can't do nothing about that, man. You got these, you got these people out here, man. Well, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that, man. You, nigga, you ain't gonna do shit. Okay, you ain't gonna do shit. All right, just straight up. 
You can't do nothing against the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? It says, um, because when I called, ye did not answer. All right, this sounds a lot like uh, Ezekiel 3 and 17 or Ezekiel 33, right? When you, when a watchman calls, all right, when a watchman blows the trumpet and you got the people out there that don't want that, that listen and don't listen. So obviously this is talking to the people that didn't listen. This also sounds like Proverbs, the first chapter, okay? Um, it says, um, because when I called, you did not answer. When I speak, you did not hear. All right. Y'all had all these different opinions. Y'all had all this shit to say, man. All right. Y'all y'all had all types of names you want to call us. You get on our comment board. You 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 push whatever you want to push on the comment board. And, you know, uh, say what you want to say on the comment board. And you just not hearing because you're upset. Right. You're upset that the fact that, you know, somebody, and, and, you know, is telling the truth. And you don't like that. All right, and it's up. It's, that's up. That's up to you and the Lord, man. You know, that's between you and the Most High, man. All right. It says, "But did evil before mine eyes, and did not, and did choose that where I delighted not." So y'all chose. You know, you you walk by us. You call us all types of hate groups and stuff like that. Hell, you got people that that's out there with garments on, getting on our comment boards, talking all types of shit, saying that we only down brothers. All right. We only we we're we're only out there as far as Great Millstone, we're only out there to to attack and to bring down brothers. Well, first off, man, if I gotta if if I have if somebody is is out there with garments on in the Bible saying that Edomites can can be saved, that person is not my brother. Far from it, actually. When I have when I have when we have people out there talking about that the karagma it's not what it is. You know what I'm talking about? That that see him. And you have people out there saying that that's not what it is. What Revelation is really re talking about and stuff like that. That person is not my brother. He's not my sister. He's a damn demon. Okay? He's a fucking demon. That's just what it is. He or she is a demon. Not my brother. Got nothing to do with me. You might as well be an Edomite. Right? You might as well. Because you're considered the heathen if you're pushing shit like that. Right. I have we have this Christian church saying that you can eat whatever it is you want to eat, do what you want to do, this, that and the other, man. Right. When you follow when you follow the, 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 the Lord's laws to the best of your ability, you know, you're you're following you're you're pretty much fulfilling the first commandment, loving the Lord with all your spirit, pretty much. When you love the Lord with all your spirit, you would do. To the best of your very, the very, very best of your ability, you would, <coughs> you would do what the Lord commanded, and you would try to, you know, follow all His commandments. Do I dare call somebody that's not doing that my brother, my sister, my father, my mother, whoever? Biologically, yeah, you know, you could say if you got, especially if you got a family member. If I got a, if I got a biological brother that's going off, which I have two. You know, which the Wadi Ahobah Shem Yahweh Shah that they ate, hey, that they're in the truth. You know, both of them. But if one of them managed, you know, just decide it was, you know, how I forbid that it happens. But if one of them goes off and say that something, something wicked is completely contrary to the doctrine and they just leave and shit. Yeah, biologically, yeah, they're my brother, but they're not, they're not a brother, if you know what I mean. That's not family. Right? This is why. Me personally, you know, I don't equate um, worldly family members as as true family because you all have different opinions. You're not you're not in unison with one another, man. A family, a family has to be unif <coughs> has to be unified. Okay, a family has to be unified, and you don't see very unified families out here. So that's first of all, man. That's first off. They're not my brother. Second of all, have you read the scriptures? Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and shoot my people their transgression. Well, who do you think that's talking about? Do you think that's talking about some goddamn Edomites? It's crying aloud, sparing not. To who? Esau? So we're going to cry aloud and spare not to, to, to Esau? And we, we naturally do that, but what, what you crying to Esau for? Well, that's first off. 
you know so we we speak boldly as lions to esau no doubt but crying aloud sparing not crying aloud to who let's talk to other israelites but these but the, you people out there that are like that gms only only you know does these videos the down there brothers and stuff like that that brothers 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 your definition y'all definition of brother is all fucked up just being honest man y'all definition of brothers is all messed up right if you're not if you're not telling your so-called since you want to carry it that way if you're not telling your so-called brother right that they're wrong okay and you're not exposing that because you 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 do have to expose the Lord, the, the scriptures do say to expose. You can always prove it through the scriptures, man. We can always prove that, all right. But if you don't, if you don't expose their wickedness and tell them that they're going off, how the fuck are they going to fix it? You know what you, you know what you know what y'all suggestion is, unity camps. Mm. All I can do is shake my head, man. That's 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 your, that's your, uh solution to agree to disagree mm. y'all in that great area god damn man so if i so i'm going to get the description in a second man so if i if i if i'm just if i'm a, a person you know walking up to y'all right you got two different camps that talks about what the mark of the beast is right <clears throat> you got two different camps say that it's a it's the sea hip I mean, you got one camp that says it's the sea hip, and then you got another one that says no. But then you might have another one that don't even agree with the camp that said it's not even the sea hip. You might have another camp that says it's something else, but still not the sea hip, and still not what that person said. But you call yourself a unity camp. So then, what, what I'm left off is, okay, well, I just talked to two camps, and I got no answer. What's, I got two different answers. Both answers can't be right. There's only one right. Okay? I mean, Esau tells you that in school. There's only one answer. They tell you that on the, on the quiz, on those quizzes and those tests and stuff like that. There's only one answer, only one correct answer to a question. And a, and a younger brother uh, in a camp likes bringing that, that subject out. It is only one, <clears throat> one correct answer. <clears throat> okay? Um, so... Uh, verse 13, it says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shemiel, shall behold, my servants shall eat, all right, but ye shall be hungry. Now, you can equate this to um, Amos, all right, chapter 8, verse 11, on down, when it talks about the famine of the word. We're going to continuously be be nourished. This is also, also talking about physically eating. Because the, servant, the Lord is going to make sure his servants are, are, are you know, are, are well fed, you know. You're going to make sure that their, his servants are well fed. Okay, so this is actually also talk about actual eating too. You know, especially in the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, and around around those, you know, around that time, man. All right. Um, it said, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye, uh, ye shall be ashamed. And this is even talking about now. You can clearly see this. This is even talked about now. If the power goes out. Sure, you may panic a little bit. It's like, okay, what am I going to do? You know, what? Here's the thing, man. You know, here's the thing, and I'm not, I'm not going to make no more extra points, man. Here's the thing. We know who we're praying to. You people don't. That kills all the, all the points. You know, all the examples. You know what I'm saying? So, so, and there have been instances where where brothers have been in trouble, and that's what I, that's really what I was getting ready to say. There have been instances where brothers were, uh, had some, you know, some things going on. And what did they do? They ran to the Lord, man. They ran straight to the Most High, man. And they got answered. And they got blessed. Right? They got blessed and they got delivered out of certain situations. All right? That happened to them. You people, you people are looking for the U.S. government. You know what I'm saying? 
You people are looking for 911, the emergency services, which if you got to call them, you got to call them. So be it. But that's not who we rely on because all that shit's going to be gone, man. Right? You people are going to be left looking around. Shit, man. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Right? Well, here's what I'm going to do. Right? I'm going to stock up on some food. You know, I'm going to stock up on some guns and shit like that. Y'all, man, y'all think y'all y'all really, y'all really think that shit going to save y'all, man. That's, at man. Man. And this is why, you know, when, when people say you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. You know, first question I ask, well, what's your solution then, nigga? What the hell is your solution then? What's your, what's your answer to all this, man? Right? What the hell is your answer to all, to all of this, man? Well... I don't know. See, that's the problem. But you telling me I'm wrong. You telling me we're wrong. But you don't even know the answer. <laughs> you got people out there literally, you know, that'll literally say that, well, what y'all teaching is hate, is this, that, and the other. Well, okay, well, what's what's your uh answer? Well, I don't really know. We don't none of us really know, right? Now what the fuck you telling me that I don't know for then, man? If you don't know. That's how ass backwards this place is, man. Anyway, let's finish up. Behold, my servant shall sing, for, shall, shall, like it, shall sing for joy, all right, of heart. But ye shall be, shall like it, ye shall cry for so, uh, sorrow of heart and howl for vexation of spirit. Okay. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. Now, that's even happening today, man. These people out here, man. Our people, you know, the so-called black, Latino, Native American, man. Look. I don't even like being around them, man. And I'm sure all brothers can 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 you know say that. And you you don't you don't even like being around these motherfuckers, man. You know. It says, and ye shall leave your uh so like ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. For the Lord Yahweh by Shemel Shah shall slay thee, all right, and and call his servants by another name. Okay. So anyway. Like I said, man, that was the main point. <clears throat> the Lord only cares about his elect. That's the main point of this video. Okay. <clears throat> so, you know, on that, man, I want to give all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shalom.